It's time to go legendary. Jungle Fury, final strike. Animal Spirits, full fury. Oh no! That's a super mega win! Hey guys, the last episode of Super Mega Force was the Jungle Fury tribute. We got to see Casey again. The episode starts with the rangers at the zoo, and they see Casey in the tiger pen raking up something or other. But they don't know who he is yet. Prince Fakar is still being entertaining. What did he call the monster? Yeah. Paddywhack. He called him a backpack too, right? Prince Vicar is kind of a fun villain. There's kind of a cute moment between Jake and Emma when they're at school and then walking through the park and talking about Gia. So Jake and Emma recognize Casey in the park as the guy from the tiger cage and then find out that he's teaching a kung fu class. And he's kind of talking about fighting without weapons, which came in handy because the monster that the rangers were then fighting was taking away their weapons. And Troy got really upset about that. After the rangers got their butts kicked fighting the monster, Jake and Emma went back to the park looking for Casey to uh, study with him. Well, actually, they went to the zoo first. Casey was kind of messing with them and invited them into the tiger cage. <laughs> Casey agreed to meet them in the park and train with them a little bit because they wanted to learn his way of fighting without weapons. Meanwhile, Noah and Gia were at school looking at the ranger database and also trying to come up with some ways of defeating this monster, but Troy was like, You're wasting time trying to find a reasonable solution. Just don't let go of your weapons. Stop trying to come up with a plan and just... Hang on to your weapons better, rangers. I don't want to hear another word about it. You all go right to bed. Well, Jake and Emma were learning about their animal spirits. Jake is a s Jake the snake? Jake the snake. Jake is a snake. Wasn't there a wrestler named Jake the snake? Yeah. There was, right? I just got that. <laughs> <laughs> Emma is, of course, the phoenix. Following the training session, Jake and Emma are talking to Casey, and their morphers go off, and they're just kind of like, what do we do now? And Casey says, aren't you going to answer your morphers? At which point, Casey introduced himself as the Red Jungle Fury Ranger, and we saw a little bit of flashback footage to Jungle Fury. All the Rangers then fight the monster together, and they use the Jungle Fury keys and become the Jungle Fury Rangers. Then the monster gets big, and they call the Megazord. They use the Jungle Fury keys and unleash the animal spirits, and the monster's defeated again. And then at the end of the episode, the Rangers go to see Casey again at the zoo and mistake him for another guy, who then says that nobody named Casey ever worked at this zoo. And then Casey appears behind Troy and Gia and Noah, but then disappears before they get to see him. Was Casey a ghost? Is it just part of their imagination? Or was he using his Paishwa master trickiness to kind of do his thing, where he's appearing in the tiger cage specifically for the rangers, and then he's disappearing before the other rangers get to see him, but why does he only reveal himself to black and pink or green and pink? It's all part of his plan. All part of his master plan. What do you guys think the deal was with Casey in this episode? I thought it was a really good tribute episode, and once again we had a ranger who did not morph. So far we are being led to believe that all the other rangers no longer have access to morphing for some reason. And I don't know why. Or they just choose not to. Or they just choose not to. I still think that needs to sort of be explained. There's so many easy ways to just explain it, so why not just give something? You know, I, I would be happy with, so long as these keys are in use for some reason that makes the other powers inactive. It's drawing the power from the the Morphin Grid, or something linked to these other rangers. I don't know, some some explanation. So maybe that's evidently may have ordered pizza, so we're gonna go pizza. eat, and then I'm gonna do- what? I thought you ordered pizza. I didn't order pizza. Where'd, where'd the pizza come from? Jungle Karma? Jungle Karma! Perfectly good pizza. So this week, there aren't any Super Mega Force toys that go with this episode. In Japan, there is a full set of Geki Ranger keys for Jungle Fury. Anybody voting for RJ in Morphin Madness? I'm sure we'll see at least three Jungle Fury keys at some point. Jungle Fury was the last season where you could still buy some of the Japanese toys in America. They're kind of doing it now with Shin Kano and Gosei Great and Go Kaio, but you know, back in the day, it used to be Go Kaio would be in a box like this that would say Legendary Megazord and it would be missing some paint. Hopefully I'm making sense. During Jungle Fury, this was more their main line, but it was kind of inconsistent. They did release the Japanese Megazord, and they did have some exclusive Disney Store items, including the Rhino, but the Jungle Master Zords only came in the DX Japanese size, and all these, like some of these auxiliary Zords, they only came in this smaller size. For example, here is the Wolf Zord. This is the American version, and it's the only version that we got. And then here's the Japanese version. 
they do look pretty much alike. This one has orange paint, and this has that nice translucent orange plastic, which I always favor over just solid paint. In addition to writing up here, you can also become another leg that replaces yellow. Except I did it in reverse, I think. It goes on this foot, right? I'm still not sure why the Jaguar wears sunglasses, but it's kind of cool, right? <laughs> Don't forget to pull these out. And there you go. On off switch right here. There's a button right here. Press that. And his upper half spins and his hands light up. Then if you hold him up like this, there's another button back here. I did not get the American version of him, so I don't know for sure. If one of you guys has him, does he have lights in his hands or did they get removed? I think I was right the first time with the legs. The American version, you can still spin his upper half, but I don't think that's as much fun as this, do you guys? For the most part, these do look pretty similar. He's a little skinnier, because he doesn't have a big battery pack. Missing a little bit of paint, but it's not bad. On this version, the glasses don't lift, the mouths do not open. The Japanese version is a bit fancier. This isn't a bad version, but this is also before they did Zord Builder, so this is not compatible. There's a huge difference with the Rhino. Here's his sword. Well, yeah. So unless you went to the Disney store, I think at the very end of Jungle Fury, you probably didn't get the deluxe version, which I think was expensive at the Rhino, at the Rhino store, the Disney store. His legs, you can, you can put them there if you don't want them to hang, like I have it, but good enough. He comes with the control dagger. Hey, hey, come back here. There's a sensor right here. You take the dagger and just go like that, and he walks. Come back here. And now he's in rhino mode again. Oh no, he's gonna kill himself. Oh no! Stop, 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 stop. Oh no! They did make one of these, at least that you could buy separately as like a role play item. But this did come included with the Rhino. Actually, I think the detail on ours was a little nicer than this one, believe it or not. I ate way too much pizza. So I just thought I'd show you guys a little bit of the Japanese line and the American line. I think it was worth mentioning that this was kind of the transition season, sort of, Overdrive, Jungle Fury. Both Overdrive and Jungle Fury had some American molds and some Japanese molds. Prior to that, it was all Japanese that was coming over. Mystic Forest was the last season that used entirely Japanese molds. RPM, it was entirely American. And then starting with Mighty Morphin 2010, it was Zord Builder. So then Samurai, Super Samurai, Mega Force, Super Mega Force. But for people that don't like the Zord Builder, it's kind of... They kind of have a good system now, because you can buy the Japanese stuff from a lot of different online toy stores, and they're also importing like the main Megazord of each season to Toys R Us. So, you know, Shin Kano, Go Say Great, Go Kaio. I'm sure Dino Charge will do it. Direct from Japan import. They don't touch it at all. Same paint, same electronics, everything. It's all exactly the same. All right, please remember to subscribe and share the video. Please hit the thumbs up button. It's always appreciated. Let me know what you thought about Casey. Is he a ghost? For people that didn't like Megaforce, are you liking Super Megaforce any better? All right, I'll be back soon with more videos. Some good stuff just came in from CS Toys, from Image Anime. So new video soon. Thank you guys for watching and good night.